yeah yeah welcome to my channel for your masters and crafts yeah this morning i want to teach us how to make this spiral quinoa fascinator and i want to use this opportunity to thank so many people that voted for me in the lovers of arts group I appreciate your likes, your comments. It makes me to do more of the tutorial. So, without wasting much of our time, let's come to the table. And uh, what we'll be needing for our spiral quinoa fascinator this morning is a purple quinoa, our fisher pink. So I used uh, three years of the purple and I used um, two and a half years of the fisher pink. Then we have our headband. This headband, what I did is to use bias to, you know, tape it round to the color of which I want. Then we have our uh, thread, our matching thread and needle. Then in case glue gone, then our scissors in case you need to trim as well. So let's quickly go to the table. Okay, so what I did is, you know, it's a little bit rough, but we can still use it. So what you do is, you fold it into two, then you start rolling. Start rolling. Start rolling. Just wanted to look at what I'm doing. Start your rolling and making sure that it's properly folded. So just continue that way to get to the end. So you can see the way I roll it. So just place it on the table and so unravel on its own. So or use your hand to just leave it. Use your hand to can turn it until you get what higher what you want. So just use your hand to unravel it. So I think I'm So, is it? I see it. I see it. So, I take my needle and thread. I thread it, stitch it down. Stitch it down. So stitch it very well. So when you stitch it, you can see, you can see it. Use the hard comb of it. So you take your the pop the fisher pink rather. Also, you fold it to fold it into two as well. You fold it into two as well. And start rolling it. So, if you are new to this channel please like share and subscribe and if you have any question for me just uh, drop it in the comment box i'll be glad you did and i answer the question so this is the end um, also see it So what you do, 
just take it and fix it into it. Just fix it. Just fix it into it. And arrange it very well. to arrange it as I'm trying to do. So you tack it. If you want it more fuller than this, you increase your cranial knife. You increase the yard of your cranial knife that you want to use. So you just tack it. And if you want to embellish it, Maybe with stones, with uh, pears, you can also do that. It's all about creativity. It's all about how creative you are. So just because uh, the crinoline challenge we did, we are asked to use just uh, only crinoline. So I was unable to. I was just I'm just on off. I was unable to embellish the way I want it. So just gone this down. come of our uh, and see it so depends on how you want it okay I want it to be attached on the left hand side so what you just do next is you attach this through your needle and your thread you attach this Attach this to your to your hairband. So just find a very suitable way to attach it. It depends on how you want, really want it to look like. I'm just going to tuck the bottom of the thread, just tuck it. to stay on your head so let's pack it that depends on the way you want it to stay on your head hope you can get it pack it to your a band. There is no rules concerning this. Depends on how you want it to sit on your head. Just 
try to attach it to the whole plant. That's so you guys I hope you can see what I'm doing and that's just how to come about that's how I come about the design as I come about the design so I name it Spira Quinonai Fascinator Spira Quinonai Fascinator that's the name I give to it so I hope you find this um, channel understanding and helpful Thank you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.